stranger to the dark Hide away, they say Cause we don't want your broken parts I've learned to be ashamed of all my scars Run away, they say No one will love you as you are But I won't let them break down to dust I know that there's a place for us For we are glorious When the chocolate words want to cut me down Hi, I'm Shelley from Stockport Libraries and on the 17th of May I'll be supporting Ida Hobbit 2021, the International Day Against Homophobia, Biphobia and Transphobia. And this year the themes for Ida Hobbit are together, resisting, supporting and Hello, my name is Mitchell and I work for the Proud Trust as the Youth Work Coordinator in Stockport. I think it's really important that we mark International Day against homophobia, biphobia and transphobia as it's important to acknowledge that although we've come a long way with LGBT plus rights, LGBT phobia still exists today. Um, an issue that's recently been in the news in the UK is that conversion therapy is still not illegal in this country and conversion therapy is an attempt to change someone's sexual orientation or gender identity and it is an abhorrent practice that is so harmful to LGBT plus people and I really hope that by this time next year when we mark this day it, that will no longer be the case and that conversion therapy will be illegal in the UK and eventually the world. Seventeenth of May is Ida Hobbit twenty twenty one. International Day Against Homophobia, Biphobia and Transphobia. And the theme for this year Together, resisting, supporting, and healing. Before the pandemic, our community suffered from major inequalities across all areas of life, from both external and internal sources. As we emerge from lockdown, we're reminded of how fortunate we are. In India, in the midst of another catastrophic wave of COVID-19. In Uganda, they've just passed further legislation to criminalise homosexuality. We stand in solidarity with our gay, lesbian, bisexual, ace and trans siblings all across the world. We must unite to combat all forms of hate and discrimination. Together, there is hope. The picture is not close to be called good for the lesbian, gay, bisexual or transgenders in India. The LGBT movement in India is quite small now, uh, but has not got that traction that it needed. In 2018, the Supreme Court has ruled that the consensual homosexual acts would no longer constitute a crime. However, a large portion of Indian population is largely indifferent to the issues faced by this community. Situation is more bleak or grim in rural population and that constitute more than 75% of our masses. And transgenders suffer greatly because of differentiation, they are subjected to humor and are devoid of compassion from the general public. If some show respect, that too is because of their superstitious belief that their curses are like omen and can bring in harm. Lesbian and gays are believed uh, to be almost equal to criminals and evil. Uh, some urban uh, colonies uh, may just be an exception. In general, the LGBT community faces harassment and bullying. This harassment can extend up to non-consensual forceful sexual attempts. Passing comments are common scene. Not getting accommodations in good localities is common. 
Now, this is common right from the childhood and the main reasons are that most teachers are not trained or empowered to fight or respond to these LGBT bullying. Second, that the police forces are devoid of any formal training to handle such situations. Recent court judgments have truly laid some groundwork for better protections from these discriminations based on uh, sexual orientation and gender identity, but much more is needed. Uh, this is also evident from the UNESCO and ICJ studies in this area. So the social acceptance and the general policing both needs to be monitored for a truly good condition, I must say. So let's first note down some factors that may have affected the state of LGBT community in this pandemic. So first is that uh, many live on an average low income. Second, they are already subjected to stigma and discrimination. Third could be uh, their accessibility uh, in the healthcare. Fourth, that they are working in highly affected industries like cleaning, healthcare uh, support or red light areas. Fifth, they are less likely to have insurance coverage. Now, what I feel in general that COVID has not worsened the general phobia towards the LGBTQIA community. Perception more or less remains same. There was no news where anyone from the LGBT community was specifically targeted or was accused for the viral spread. We Indians have seen our prime time news reporters accusing different faith groups to be the causes of the COVID spread. But at least there was nothing for this group and it was watching because superstitions can play havoc in a country like us. Uh, but yes, the pain point which this community must have felt was that the help might have not been on time, especially to transgenders. So there must have been some positive cases which went underreported or some deaths uh, which went unreported. But that only a research study can bring out. The second wave really hit Indians badly. There was a scarcity of oxygen, beds, ICUs, medicines and whatnot. And this community must have also been hit badly. I also doubt about their vaccination strategy uh, because many poor LGBT members cannot register on smartphones for vaccinations, which in any case is cumbersome for the general poor people as well. India, Bollywood plays a significant role in mass opinion making. Uh, we have seen some non-issues blown out of proportion because of movies and media channels. The same powerful energy could be used constructively to bring about the issues of LGBT and the queer community. We do not only need these elements in a double meaning comedy acts, rather there should be movies solely on these sensitive issues. Recently, we saw a beautiful ad by a Bhima Junior group. It titles Pure as Love and is a powerful piece. Unfortunately, its viewership is confined to few elite Indians. Uh, we could bring more content like that. We are working in our organization to form a team of allies uh, to the community. There are workshops which are being done to prepare a team of dedicated allies. Uh, we are encouraging people to open up or respect the true identities. Uh, my own local group is working towards talking to many students in some colleges. A uh, lot of these students still do not want to be named. And you know the most important reasons of this? First, they themselves feel that it is their fault. We are working hard not only to increase the awareness in general public, but also among the community members themselves, that uh, it is not the fault, it is how it is. And second, they fear about the friends and the family. And truly, I believe that both of these are global problems as well. So, I am planning to bring about some ally workshops related to LGBT for the general public as well. But sometimes our means and our scope comes in between. So, allies from outside India can uh, own in their thoughts like uh, how or share their own success stories. Uh, 
uh, if solidarity is shown for Indian volunteers, I think it would be great uh, help. A mere endorsement or promoting our post can help create awareness. Other solution as a solidarity could be to forge uh, alliances with the subaltern feminist and other movements. Corporates in India can be of great help, investing more and more in the inclusiveness and diversity initiatives. Next could be to help people who are working or wishing to contribute to the community. I know things shall become good someday. I know we shall overcome someday. This is me. <laughs>